<laughs> they're trying. Uh, yeah, so they're they're if they lose ever, they start over from Expedition One instead of yeah. That's what I was doing too, but I've only made it three so far. It's pretty rough because I can beat Expedition One now like every single time on a brand new save, no problem. The problem the problem then is actually doing it and farming everything you need to go into Act Two the best chance at winning. Seems like one of the best strategies is just to try to unlock the Necromancer as fast as you friggin' can, because the Necromancer can just brute force through things almost regardless of what drops you get, you know? <laughs> like, I actually prefer the Rogue overall, but uh, Necro can just brute force a lot of stuff. I don't need RNG in my favor. All right, let's see what we got this week. Mantra of fasting? Nope, don't care. <gasps> Camo cloak. Camo cloak. Well, I know where I'm going. Yes. Do you... No necro might be worth trying. You mean that challenge with no necro or just trying to beat all four without the necro? I think I'd beat everything without the necro yeah, I have. The Rogue, I, I really like the Rogue. It's just more, it seems like the Rogue is more RNG dependent, but I actually like the Rogue the best out of the four. Uh, let's see. We need to work on getting deeds. Rush Rivers or something. I wonder if you can, like if you can get, I don't know, you would have to farm Act 1, 2, and 3 like crazy, or like not farm, I mean, get as much as you can off the very first if you're trying to do that challenge. Going into Expedition 4, somehow, with River and Forest and Necro would probably be the easiest way to do it. But I don't even know if you can get enough stuff to do that. I haven't looked at it close enough. Yeah, it seems pretty rough. Taxi bug was fixed, so it's all doable. Louie, looks like you're going into the wield. You know what? I'm gonna take you two again. I'm probably gonna take basically the same. Kaz, you're here. You can go. Wait. Wait. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get rid of Stress Eater. Stress Eater is gonna be a lot worse in this run than it typically is for us. All right. Brand new team that we've never seen before. Louie, good to go. Which, um, yeah, it's fine. Raving Raccoon. Vapors. Get down. Take all these. Down. You're free. Yeah. So, Kaz, you're a night owl. And you like meditating. And you like scary woods. <laughs> but you shouldn't gamble because you're bad at it. Alright. Let's see here. What do we want to get rid of this week, if anything? <sighs> Stress Eater sucks, man. It really does. I might get rid of it. Especially on someone that it's more meaningful. Like on uh, Barian. Barian, we might get rid of your Stress Eating. Yeah, let's do that. And we still have Matt to trade out. Weapon Tinker, Fragile. Deadly. Manslayer. Hmm. Let's take this man... Uh, uh, deadly. I almost said manly. Grave Robber. Let's say this manly. Grave Robber. Matt. Diesel. Goodbye, Matt. Hello, Matt. Slumped shoulders, wild eyes, uh, and a stumbling gait. Let's get our trinkets and go out. This one is no more good. That part two is zero poker face. So we are going to take a uh, focus ring, damage stone again, crescendo, quarry stone, uh, dodge. Uh, 
Yeah, screw it. Dodge protection. I mean, it's kind of counterintuitive, but... Quick draw I actually want to keep for our Plague Doctor. I don't think we're going to use the Speedstone. We might as well sell it so we can get our income from the bank. Dazzling Charm, are we going to use that anymore? Probably not. Well, the person that we would use it on is the Plague Doctor, but Plague Doctor has the Witch's Vial and Quick Draw, so let's go ahead and sell that. And I don't know. We might use... We might do some Torchless Runs, especially after we get some good Trinkets and we're pushing meter. We might as well do those as Torchless. So I'll keep the Dark Bracer. Might come in handy. Hmm. I think we're good. We have one camp. All right, let's go. Let's go get that camo cloak. First of many, I hope. All the food, all the shovels. A little over prepared. It's all right. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets. All right. Food, shovels, torches, curio. Let's do it. What's great about the camo cloak? Dodge is, no matter what anyone tells you, and no matter if there's a tutorial video from 2016 that says otherwise, Dodge in Darkest Dungeon is incredible. And camo cloak is one of the highest dodge trinkets in the game. Well, it shares that role with a bunch of other ones, so. The more you get, the higher you get dodge, the better uh, it becomes. You can get dodge all the way to 95% in this game. Once you get dodged 95% on everyone, it is really hard to have someone die. Because what you're doing is you're kind of weighing the RNG in your favor, right? You're putting the, the burden of RNG on the enemy. So what I mean by that is the enemy has to get through it. They have, they have a 5% chance to hit you. And then if they manage to hit you, they also have to then roll their crit. And then that probably still isn't going to get someone to death's door unless it's like crit tree branch smackdown or something like that. And then if they get you to death's door, you also, they also have to do it again through 5% without or before you can heal them like it's very hard to have someone die if you can get to 95 percent dodge there are many videos that say dodge use i know our modest they're wrong expands praise this uh hey louis what do you think of the subscription thank you louis seven months in advance thank you child louis look at you you're in this dungeon too uh i've never had someone subscribe for that long in a single go much love to Child Louie for the support. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and then if they get through that, if they hit you in that 5% and crit and do that multiple times and get you to death's door before you heal, then they have to go through the 5% again. And then they have to roll against death blow resist. Like, it's crazy how good dodge is when you get it high enough. If you get dodged from 90% to 95%, you're basically doubling your chance to dodge at that point. A lot of people are like, that's only 5%. But at that stage, you're doubling the amount. It It's crazy good. During the boys run, I had someone come in and tell me that dodge is not good as I was using dodge to beat the game deathless again. It's like, yep. Dodge is terrible. Look at this. <laughs> Look at us use it to go deathless. Wish I was doing better. He will join us or die. Feather crystal. Master. I like feather crystal. Yeah. I don't know. If it's one of the best, but I like it. Just stand, take it like a man. <laughs> uh. Wait, thank you for another or for a gift sub. I was gonna say another sub. Thank you for the gift sub to Soch for their first month. More love to Louie. Thank you, man. Very much appreciated. Their formation is broken. Maintain the Try to roll a D24 times to get the same number. It's nearly impossible. Yeah, like, it's it's crazy. It's crazy good. And most of the guides on YouTube that say that dodge is bad, well, those are from like 2016, 2017 when dodge was worse. Even then it wasn't terrible, but it was worse. Used to the cap on dodge was uh, ninety percent, not ninety-five. So basically, they've doubled the effectiveness of dodge since that. But yeah, dodge is really good. 
It's just not great when you only have a little of it. It's one of those that once you start stacking it, it becomes super good. But yes, five dodge sucks. 95 dodge is incredible. Let me get some deeds out of this. Of the light. Most Darkest Dungeon guides are really old, yeah. I mean, I have a world record that, um, for all we know, for what we understand, no, I haven't seen anyone else do it at all. Uh, not completely. And I did it because I stacked dodge. That was a big component of it. And I still get people that come in and they're like, why are you using dodge? That's a terrible stat. It's an RNG stat. All right. No comment, Mitch. How's it going, Gur King? Uh, I guess. Yeah, we might as well do it now because I want to use the torch before that battle. Some kind of diminishing return on dodge. I don't know, maybe. Because the thing is, like, even though dodge is so good, so few people really stack it from what I see. Like, when I go to other streams, even people that are trying, like, to do challenge runs or whatnot, so few people stack dodge for some reason. I'm guessing because, like I said, people still think it's terrible, even though it was patched, like, four years ago. Um, so, I don't know. It might be an RNG stat, but yeah, once you stack, that's what I'm saying. Like, the more you stack of it, the less RNG it becomes, right? Like, you're, you're putting your, it's RNG, but you're converting the RNG from your side to their side, kinda. Like, you're putting the burden for them to hit on them once you get that high. It's like, Welcome back. I don't know. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Uh, Bowser. Bowser, thank you for the resub. Three months. Thank you, Bowser. Appreciate it. Big fan, by the way. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. The dodge isn't as satisfying as crit dealing three damage. Three damage. Well, that, that so that brings up a point, kind of. When that person was in here, um, when we were doing the boys run, telling me that the dodge is not good, they were like, I'd much rather stack health and protection. And I'm like, cool. What's health and protection going to do against stress? <laughs> like, you're not just dodging damage. You're dodging status effects. You're dodging stress. You're dodging the chance for enemies to crit. You're dodging crit stress. Like, all right, great. You have, you have 80 health. You're a damage sponge. Things can crit you. Congratulations. Oh yeah, I know, I know. I know you're not. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Yeah, I know. No, it's Wayne June. Uh, in fact, Wayne June hangs out at the stream sometimes. He's a follower. Uh, actually, at the beginning of this week, he tweeted out for people to come say hello to me. So yeah, I have custom voice lines from Wayne. Yeah. Still at zero deaths for now, yeah. Yeah, you can hire Wayne June to make voice lines for you if you'd like. He has a website you can hire him through. Um, 20 something people from the stream got together for my birthday in 2019 and paid for him to make 10, um, 10 voice lines. And then he came and hung out at the stream to do some research and uh, started following me on Twitter. It's pretty awesome. Um, do I often get people telling me I'm playing the game incorrectly? Yes. <laughs> After 2,500 hours and two world records, I still get people that come in and tell me that I'm doing things. And I mean, I make mistakes. I'm not playing perfectly. Ever. Really. Right? But I still have people that come in, they're like, Why aren't you using the occultist in the front? The occultist isn't good in the front. You need to put him in the back. He's a healer. I'm like... You say so. Hang out for a little bit and let me show you. I make intentional errors. <laughs> yeah, right. I wish that was uh, the case. Darkness closes in. Haunting the hearts of I call this three-hound master. Yeah, that's a fun party. 
As victories mount, vigorous. So too will resistance. Still alive, you are, yeah. You're still alive. Hmm. Is that a bit of dungeon left? Full size row, not convinced. Colts is a healer. <laughs> Uh, so we just did a all male run. So the cultist was the only really primary healer we had. So we took an occultist almost every single dungeon. And yeah, it's it's a roller coaster. We had some pretty terrible time, but we beat the whole game deathless. We did deathless blood moon with no vestal, no girls at all. Did an eye roll emote times like that. <laughs> It happens a lot though more than you think and, and it's not in like a trolley way either these people really are like but dodge is a bad stat oh my bad dodge is wrong i don't want to be right <laughs> Time someone says Lever is the best class because you saw on YouTube Lever's created for 100. <laughs> but also, like I was telling people earlier, like with Darkest Dungeon, all the classes are good enough to use. You know, if if you're not doing some stupid challenge, you don't need to min max. You can you can take a leopard every dungeon. Is it optimal? Is it gonna make it harder to take a leopard every single dungeon? Yeah. But can you beat the whole game with a leopard in every party? Absolutely. You can do it fairly easily if you know if you have enough knowledge of the game right but the match is struck a blazing star is born thank you Porgol. you have 3400 hours in the game you still learn things from me that's awesome see a leper solo dark Souls one yeah. yeah wealth beyond measure Warning i still learn things the brave and the foolhardy alike. next challenge lepers only <laughs> Quad Leper. Oh my god, Quad Leper was so boring. <laughs> quad when we did Quad Leper, it was really funny because the ones in the back were just standing there waiting for the front row to die. <laughs> hey, I see your room! Nightmares to Dodge is like quadruple. Effectively, can. Yeah. I it's really good. Nightmares to Dodge is crazy. Yeah, I wish it counted VOD time, but does not. We're not going to loot that right now. Abomination only run? That'd be rough, yeah. It's probably doable. There's some stuff that would be very difficult in a run like that. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, Darkest Dungeon 3 with Abomination only would be terrible. You watch the whole boys run on VODs? Thank you, Torrent. Yeah, well, I'm glad you liked it. Of times and it'll roll the numbers you want eventually. That's true. How's it going, Lunar? Executed with impunity. A morning schedule? Yeah, I've been on morning schedule now for about two and a half months. About two and a half months. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows. Yeah, it's our season three with four abominations. Ugh. Ah, we didn't get the loot. Every court boss. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. All right, we can get Dismas's head. Got it. Got it. I don't know if I want to equip it right now or not. It's better than damage zone, obviously, but 20% uh, additional stress. It's a little scary this kind of run. But yeah, I'm doing it. Community grows. Uh, Volk. Volk, thank you for the follow. What's the easiest four of one class only run? Crusaders. Yeah. Four Crusaders is, is, is really good. It's the easiest. Four Vestals, uh, they're very slow. Very, very slow, and they eventually succumb to stress. 
But four Crusaders is very good. They have damage. They have reach. With the Holy Lance is an incredible move. They have healing. They have stun so they can uh, stall and stress heal back down. Four Houndmaster is easier? I don't think it was. I mean, we did four of each kind, and Crusader was uh, it's pretty easy. I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. Nine percent of room acceleration. We might as well hit this up. I mean, four Houndmaster is probably slower. It, it, I mean, again, if you if you like guard tank with them, like dodge tank with them, that it might be easier. But then you're pretty much not attacking with two of them every every round. It's probably doable, but the Crusader one's pretty pretty easy. Not very risky either. Finding the stuff yeah, Holy Lance first test. and Shuffling and their ability cold. to stall out to both heal and stress heals is good. The targeted stress heal is really, really nice. Uh, I guess we'll maybe camp in the next room. Let's see if we can get another scout. Game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that too, yeah. I, w I wasn't talking about Endless. I was talking about, so... Convention. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. And on All right. Uh, maybe I want Night Team Ambush so we can get more loot. So I'm, I'm going to just not worry about Night Team Ambush. I regret it. Poor Antiquarians. Yeah, they eventually succumb to stress too. But they're good for the dodge, yeah. Imagine if eating food, heal could crit. <laughs> I forgot to bring the trinket one. Whoops. Whoops. We get an ambush. As the light gains Reach purchase, position. spirits are lifted. Yeah, I mean it's very slow, right? But clear. it's possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot to bring the free trinket. Uh, the last antiquarian I brought it on, I, for whatever reason, I was thinking that this was the same antiquarian when it, when it wasn't. Food was so good, it cured my broken hand instantly. <laughs> Annihilated. How many more torches we had? Three. Is Raby still preferred? It depends on the character and the trinkets that you have. I usually get rid of rabies on most people, but it, it just depends, yeah. I'm sorry, Aquas, like every answer for Darkest Dungeon that I'm giving you is it depends, but that's that's Darkest Dungeon. Like, I would take uh, rabies on a Hellion if I had Focus Ring or uh, Heaven's Hairpin, for instance. But I wouldn't want it on my Leper. The blood quickens. I'd take it on Arbalist or Musketeer if I had an Accuracy Trinket. Much worse than but... Seize this momentum. It's another risk Push taker. To the task's end. Basically. Kinda. Only that one is dodge instead. Spent. Many questions are actually answered with the depends, yeah? Especially the Tark's dungeon. Rabbis? Rabbis and rabies are a little bit different, yeah. A little. As <laughs> being a rabbi, I get quirk. Depends. Did 
Do men over 50 wear boxer briefs? No, they wear depends. Hamilton. <laughs> Let's go to Hamilton. Pilot wash. In and dead. Can you answer this question about Dark's Dungeon? It depends. For stuff that are kind of not good and not bad. Yeah, my biggest wish list item for Darkest Dungeon 2 is branching skill trees. Lots of games uh, do it and do it well. I would love for Darkest Dungeon 2 to have that in it. That's that's probably my biggest wish list item for Darkest Dungeon, Dungeon 2. So that way you can specialize. Uh, your characters and teams more and of course no matter what there's gonna be min max one that's Overall a little bit better than the other, but it would just be really nice So for instance, let's look at like pick to the face So let's say that uh, when pick to the face gets level three you choose left or right or something like that and um, One way it gets rid of armor piercing but gets bleed or something and then the other side uh, maybe it includes a debuff to their armor for for other people to do more damage through the armor or something i mean maybe that's not a good one but just an example branching tree uh skill tree would be pretty awesome so like character yourself sound yeah hard to master game has complex complex intricacies <laughs> isn't that weird i think i'm gonna keep going Darkest dungeon. Sounds great, even with a pick example. Yeah, like so many things like that. It'd be really nice because then you could customize. And like I said, there's still going to be things that are just flat out better. But in that scenario, there's lots of room for things to be better situationally. Stupid antiquarian. We could have had extra loot. Some stuff. I guess go and go to the end. Certain point of a branch. Oh no. Okay, spit first. That's good. All right, that's good at least. Uh. The will to fight falters. Are winning uh, for now. Helion getting webbed kind of sucks because she hadn't taken her action yet. Huh. Alright, good, good, good. So we can't get spit crit at least. Bite can still hurt, but it's not, uh, not as bad. All right, Another yeah, we should be fine. Falls. What do we have? We have food, shovel, bandage. Hmm. Nice crit. I'm the wrong person, but we'll take it. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Okay, I didn't crit. I was kind of worried. Be gone, fiend. Go scout, we might leave from here. I'm gonna peek into the next area. Okay, there is a curio. Stupid yeah, let's not risk a shambler with this group. We didn't get a torch out of that or anything, so. Okay. 
Uh, not as much loot as last time, but I mean, we got the camo cloak, and we still uh, we still got a, a fair amount. Let me catch up. You can balance it by locking a skill and to go to the end of a certain point of the branch. Yeah, yeah, that would be, that would work. It would freely change. Yeah, like once you choose an upgrade, that that character has an upgrade. There's no respecking or whatever. Synergies existing. I was asking the back game, how am I? I've been better. Thank you for asking. Yeah, pick to the face and you have an antiquarian on the team. You have a chance for more rare drops. Oh, yeah. So like, oh, okay. So I've talked about this too. I wouldn't mind a thing where uh, like in XCOM 2, if characters go on missions together a lot, they become friends and they get bonuses on that mission together. And if one of them dies or something like that, they actually get... Uh, like a, a detriment, some something detrimental happens. That'd be pretty cool too. Like you take a Hellion and a uh, and a Grave Robber to a lot of missions together, and they they start becoming friends. And so when they're on a mission together, maybe they have some kind of bonus. Maybe they have minus ten percent stress received just just because they're with their friend. However, if they're not with their friend, they get more stress. And if their friend dies, they grows. afflict or something. You know what I mean? Like, that would be cool, too. There's lots of little things like that that they could do that would be awesome and add to the game. Um, I wouldn't mind that. Some kind of buddy system. Hamilton, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, Hamilton. Let's go, Bar. Oh, I got you. I got you stuff. So you wouldn't even be able to change the skill out, not just... Quick reflex is nice. Nymphomania. Uh, clumsy sucks. Ear is fine. All right. Let's put the recording.